And I tell you, I was listening to some of the old shows. And I, I've been, man, some of these shows are so funny. But especially interviews. People used to interview me. I listened to the, the show where Brace and uh, Liz from Truanon interviewed me about the Hunter Biden laptop story. You know, and they did a lot of editing on that, you know, and it, it came off very funny. But I know a lot of these Friday night shows, they used to be really funny on this. I'm really not. But I went on some dates this, in the past couple of this month, you know, I went on a few dates. I'm very funny. I'm still very, very funny. These women are, are laughing their asses off, you know, and my stuff. Maybe they're laughing at me because <laughs> I'm so funny looking. But, uh, you know, uh, I, I, I just have to capture that. I mean, I'm even thinking like a filming, doing a filming thing, you know, me sitting in a restaurant, you know, and just telling stories that way, and taping it and putting it out. Because I think, you know, this this Friday night schedule, you know, and doing this live, you know, it's kind of a, it's kind of getting kind of rough on me, you know. So it might be better off if I started taping my dates. <laughs> Just, you know, get some, get some, uh, get something out of them. You know, get nothing out of them now, I'll tell you that. Hey, let's see, man. Oh, hey, what about this thing been going on here, man? So, you know, I'm talking about hacking, right? And how these Russian hackers and how they hacked into that oil uh, distribution company and then just hacked into this meat distribution company. People need to know. Now, when they stop, halt, when they halt distribution and the meat company halts distribution, it's not because they hacked into that. They hacked into the billing. They stopped distributing the oil because they couldn't bill correctly for it. Okay, that's why that disruption happened. Because this company couldn't build. They couldn't just say, well, we'll build you the same thing we built you last month. And it's kind of close. It's close enough. Know, it's the, no, they, they can't. They, they shut down a whole country and cause all this damage over, over that. Now, and now then Biden says, yeah, well, stop paying. I don't pay him there. You know, and then they go into the, 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 the Bitcoin wallet and they take the money right out. How the heck... I thought Bitcoin was super secret, you know, and it's, you know, it snowed in and you couldn't touch it. Well, what happened to all that? I guess, I guess that's an illusion. Wouldn't you think that's an illusion? <laughs> you want to see this, right? Wouldn't they kind of, you know, wouldn't you kind of tip you off, man, that they know everything we're doing, you know, 100%. Um, so don't think for a second, man, that, uh, that the, these companies are, are, are um, when they pay these ransoms, right, and Biden tells them not to, to pay the ransom, it's not just that they captured the billing software. They have all their personal embarrassing emails and photos and all kind of nonsense going back and forth, the, credit, the personal credit card information of the CEO, and his social security number, all kind of stuff. They got to pay. They got to pay. I'm thinking of moving to Russia. <laughs> <laughs> so it is, you know, they gotta pay, man. So anyway, man, that's a whole scene going on there, and I'm a little concerned too. That I think uh, I'm seeing a lot of activity around me. Um, people trying to infiltrate and uh, kind of set me up, you know, kind of trying to set me up. So, but you know, I'm pretty fast on my feet. So let's see what happens. Now, coming up next, we're gonna have uh, Ted Rubenstein. And then we're going to have um, this other guy. Uh, uh, no, we'll, we'll do Greg Palast first. Then we'll do Ted Rubenstein. Okay? So listen, guys, thank you so much uh, for joining me tonight. I think I talk nice and slow so you can understand me. I really encourage you to check out the Patreon this week because we're going to be putting up a lot of content. Okay? Because Shane went in and he cut out all the ads on the old uh, member section shows. Where people would interview me, and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be uploading like ten of those this week. Okay, because now I got this computer here, you know, it should be working. So we'll try that. I'm gonna upload a ton of shows on Patreon, the Opperman Report Patreon. I'm gonna put that up there, man, and then let's get that thing humming and huzzing and moving and grooving. Now, if you want to advertise on this show, I'm on 150 cities across the country, Nevada. Las Vegas, um, California, I'm in Utah, the big cities in Utah, I'm in uh, Florida, I got, I got Florida locked up, okay, Tampa Bay area, Tampa, Sarasota, Clearwater, St. Pete, uh, Venice, um, all these uh, big towns in Florida, okay, then we got um, the east coast of Florida, 
Miami, Miami. I'm on in Miami, Florida. <laughs> okay. And then all the way up to past the West Palm Beach, 175 miles of uh, I-95. So if you want to advertise on this show, man, it's the time to do it. I'm working on a couple of guys out there trying to advertise, but uh, I'm not a salesman. You know, I'm just not a salesman. All right, guys, thank you so much. Uh, once again, I enjoy doing this live show with you. You know, uh, it's the happiest time of my week when I get to talk to the audience. And I've, I've just had so many great compliments lately. Greg Palace um, uh, gave me some great compliments, you know, during the break and at the end of the show, and so did um, Doctor um, uh, uh, Professor uh, Richard D. Well, uh, Wolf, you know, and then other, you know, people I respect, you know, come to me, and, and, and so I, I really appreciate that. I really do. Don't a lot of people have this impression of me that I'm this angry guy all the time, you know? But uh, but the thing I, I want to focus. I want to focus on my work and what I'm doing. Um, and, and get things accomplished. You know, I have, a, I have a blink of an eye left before I'm six feet under. You know, uh, 20 years, 30 years, you're going to go with a blink of an eye. And there's things I can't get done and that I know I can do, okay, w with the support of the audience. You know, if you have Patreons, you know, they want to make donations, you want to advertise. That's what I really want. I want to get on, I want to get on 150 stations like uh, Professor Wolf. You know, there's no reason why not. There's an, there's, there is an audience for what we have to say here, you know, and they, they do. You know, let me tell you something. The, the Spreaker, you know, makes a lot of money with those ads on my show. All those big companies that, that advertise on my Spreaker channel, they're making money. Otherwise, they wouldn't be paying me anything. All right. And YouTube could be making money, too, off my ads, too. But, but uh, by the way, I got a strike on YouTube. If you listen on YouTube, man, get your act together, move to Spreaker, move to iHeart. Okay, because we're not going to be on iTunes. We're not going to be on YouTube much longer. We got already got a strike for nothing. Okay, guys, good night. And now a word from our sponsors. Before Epstein was the Franklin cover-up. Before that, the Finders, and long before that, the Cleveland Street Scandal. Pedogate Primer is a concise intro and overview of a growing child abuse epidemic worldwide. It features shocking instances of institutionalized and organizational pedophilia throughout history. Churches, cults, the world of arts and entertainment, the government, NGOs, charities, and major corporations are all complicit or culprits in many instances. Pedogate Primer delves into material that for many may seem like the stuff of conspiracy theories. For this reason, the book draws on academic resources, declassified documents, and other reliable sources, and steers clear of conjecture. Such shocking true stories need no embellishment. If you find yourself in need of legal representation, it can be a very stressful time in your life. In my career, I have dealt with thousands of lawyers, I've dealt with thousands of law firms, and I can confidently recommend to you Keith M. Davidson at kmdlaw.com. Available 24 hours, 7 days a week, just log into kmdlaw.com. That's kmdlaw.com. Or you can call toll-free. 833-4-KMD-LAW. That's 833-4-KMD-LAW. Personal injury, wrongful death, STDs, sexual assault, car accidents. They handle it all efficiently and professionally. It doesn't matter how imposing the opposition may be because the team at KMDLAW.com are battle-tested and fierce. They will not stop until justice prevails. Go to KMDLAW.com or call toll-free 833-4-KMD-LAW. If you're in for the fight of your life, Stop screwing around and contact KMD Law. The Opperman Report is brought to you by Aquadam.net. You can give them a call at 707-764-2119. A flooded home is never easy to deal with. You're left with the mess to clean up, the insurance companies to deal with, and not to mention all the memories, the precious memories that are lost in the flood. You can never replace those. And Aquadam can be a tool in your arsenal to protect your home and property from the floodwaters. The coffer dam is filled with water to control water and is reusable as long as it's taken care of. It can protect your home or business from rising flood waters like a dam, but without the beavers. It can also be used in construction. 
If you need an area to be dewatered, an aqua dam can do the job. An aqua dam was used at SeaWorld in Orlando for the Mako roller coaster ride during the coaster's construction by dewatering the work area. An aqua dam is now dewatering the work area at San Antonio SeaWorld for their newest roller coaster ride. An aqua dam has been used in many construction projects all around the U.S. and all around the world. Now give aqua dam a call, 707-764-2119. You can look them up online at aquadam.net. You can find them on Facebook at Aquadam Inc. You call them up, you email them, you tell them Ed Opperman sent you, and they're going to take 10% off the price. Aquadam.net, 707-764-2119.